today's video I'm going to show you how to set the valves on your 7.2 liter F350. Yes, first things first, you're going to want to set up your uh, driveway creeper and your uh, scaffold here so you can get to the engine a little better. Next you're going to want to go ahead and pin the engine. Of course on mine someone put the exhaust right in the way. Gosh darn engineers. But you can see the bolt right back in there just below that plug. Mine is a 9 16 so we're going to go ahead and pull that out and uh, then we'll see if my arms are long enough to turn the engine over and uh, put a pin in it. Alrighty, so our engine is pinned. You probably can't see it down there. I had to get a little creative with a bungee cord and a screwdriver. One good trick is once you get your engine pinned, go ahead and put yourself a mark somewhere on your front balancer so you, that you know where that pinhole is and it'll make it a lot easier for you when you go to set to roll the engine over and set the next set of valves so you can see right here on my balancer i went ahead and just took my sharpie and made a mark it also makes it much easier when a week later you need to get a video of you putting a feeler gauge under a valve so now we need to pull off our breather and then all of the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the valve cover on and uh, we'll see if we're on cylinder one or six is that top dead center and we'll go from there Take an exhaust on cylinder one are loose. Cylinder six is not. So that means we're a cylinder one top dead center, so we can check intake and exhaust on cylinder one. And then intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust. And then we'll spin the engine over so that six is top dead center. We can do intake and exhaust on six. Exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake. Specs for this engine is 25 thousandths for the exhaust and 15 thousandths for the intake. All right, so to actually do your valve adjustment, these are your two adjusters here. Your intake is your one here with the bridge going to the two valves. So you can see the bridge right here. And then this is the actual rocker arm. And your feeler gauge is gonna go between the rocker arm and the bridge. And then this is your exhaust valve here, your exhaust rocker arm. So your feeler gauge is gonna go right up in here. Uh, so your adjusters are back here. It's a 16 millimeter nut, so a 16 millimeter box end wrench would work best for you. And it's a flathead for the adjustment. I don't have a 16 millimeter box head, so I'm using my Craftsman wrench here with the uh, with the blow through hole. I don't know what you call it. So uh, the easiest way to do it is go ahead and just loosen up your adjuster first. So the easiest way to do it is to go let the feeler gauge touch the valve and slide it in. Take your Wrench your screwdriver, tighten down your adjuster until it's just finger tight. If you want just a little bit of drag on your feeler gauge, then go ahead and tighten down your adjuster. Make sure you're still good. And then we'll go ahead and adjust this one. Just a little bit of drag. It's basically you just go finger tight with the screwdriver and then crank her down. That feels good. Once you get done adjusting them and uh, tightening down the lock nut, you go ahead and torque them down to 22 foot pounds or 264 inch pounds. Click, 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 click. All right, so that's it for cylinder one top dead center. So now we're gonna roll the engine over 360 degrees and that'll give us cylinder six top dead center, which will give us the adjustment for the rest of the valves. Don't forget to pull your pin before you try to roll it over. that completes all your valves everything is now set to spec depending on uh, how precise you are so now we're just gonna get the uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down where this gasket goes because I can see there's a couple spots with dirt and paint in it so we're gonna get that out of there and then we're gonna go ahead and put our valve cover back on 
put the plug back in the pinhole and uh, fire it up. It's gonna be like a brand new engine. The only thing I wish, I wish Ford had taken this into consideration and given you a little more room on those back two bolts, but it is what it is. You can still get to them. You can get the cover off. So I'm glad that they did that, but you know. All right, so when you're putting your valve cover back on, you really want to make sure that you torque these to the proper specs and you use the proper procedure because you definitely don't want your valve cover warping. So we're going to get to uh, torquing these down in the proper order. Alright, so that's it for the uh, valve adjustment here on the F350. Everything is back together and we're ready to fire it up and make sure I didn't do it backwards or something. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, uh, that didn't sound good. Everything I read online said uh, to check when it's cold. So it is all of 20 degrees today and I figured that would probably be cold enough to check the valves. So, um, so yeah, let's give it a fire up. <laughs> So that is a wrap on the valve job for the old uh, F350. Real simple job, don't need a lot of tools or anything fancy, just hand tools. If I can do it, you can do it. And it still runs, which is always a plus when you get done doing something like that. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video. And also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. What are you waiting for? We'll see you in the next one.